Hi. Hi friends, hello, hi, how are you? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today and today, oh my God, so many things are happening. So I, first of all, you're probably like, Hannah, where did you get that amazing shirt? I want one. Where did you get? It says peace, love, and contour. Do you get it? It's genius. And to that I say, alas, my friend, this shirt is no longer available. <laughs> Back when I had about 6,000 subscribers, I made this merch because I was like, um, and I made this merch and this is one of them uh, along with this shirt was the iconic high friends hoodie um, a lot of classics going on um, the peace love and contour long sleeve is a particular fave um, but recently I was looking at my merch store and I was like this is trash um, and people were emailing me and they were like hey I want to buy your merch but it's trash so I found an artist but I love. I found her through Instagram. Her name is Madeline Graphics, and you guys should 100% go follow her on Instagram. She makes the most adorable animations, the coolest stuff. I'm gonna have her link down below. Um, I found her, and I was like, Do "You want to make some merch?" Um, and she did. <laughs> and so she made me some. Without, let me just say, like, I'm so excited for this moment. Without further ado. My brand new merch is launching. This is my merch. I'm gonna be flashing pictures on the screen. I'm really, 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 really excited about this. I'm so hyped to have merch that is actually cute. I did still keep the High Friends hoodies that I, I wear in all my videos, but this shirt is gone. I think I'm the only person who bought one. I still am keeping the High Friends hoodie just because that one actually a lot of people liked and did buy, but all of the other ones nobody was buying and everyone hated. So I'm really hoping that with the new designs, you guys like it. I am in love with the designs um, and I'm really hope We started small. I didn't want to overwhelm with like too many different things going on. So we started with two core designs and then I'm hopeful that we can expand based on like what you guys think of it. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really excited to see you guys. If you, if you want to buy some, you can. Don't feel any pressure. Don't feel like I'm going to hate you if you don't, but I did want to make it for you you guys um because I just love the idea of you guys wearing little like little hoodies <laughs> little t-shirts can't wait to get mine I ordered mine already and I'm really excited to wear it just like I wear my high friends hoodie every day of my life um so yeah um I have merch it's new I'm really excited about it and if you want to go check it out it will be linked in the description so uh, do that if you want so this video now that we have that out of the way this is going to be a yas or pass I'm fully aware that you guys hate this name. Um, I'm going to keep doing it forever. So unsubscribe, unfollow, unlike, dislike this video, do whatever. Yes or pass is staying. Okay, that's it. Ugh, I hate my energy today. You and me both. You ever just, isn't Mercury doing something weird? I don't know. I'm gonna be doing a yes or pass. So I have it yas or pass, sorry, it has to rhyme. So I haven't done one of these in quite a while. Um, it's been a couple weeks and a lot of new stuff has come out and I just wanted to go through trend mood and like give you guys my opinions on it. You guys ask about this type of stuff. I was like, you know what? Ask and you shall receive. I'm just kidding. I'm being so obnoxious. Literally my merch is getting to my head. <laughs> like one person's gonna buy a hoodie. All right, so the very first thing I wanna talk about, I'll have pictures right here, is Melt Cosmetics is coming out with a new highlighter. Oh, this thing looks beautiful. It's called their Digital Dust Highlighter, and this is the shade Genesis. This is the shade I'm obsessed with. There is a lighter shade that's more of a like white tone, and this is their little bit of a deeper tone. This looks amazing. Um, I want this like really badly. There's not been a lot of things from Melt that I'm like, oh, I want that, but I want this highlighter. I think this looks so beautiful. I think the packaging is super sleek and cool. It's very on brand for Melt. And I think the embossing is beautiful. The swatches and the way that it hits the light, <sighs> um, I love it. So I do really like this. However, I don't know if you guys know this, but I've been doing this ranking series on my YouTube channel where like every Saturday, every Saturday or Friday, whatever, I post like a ranking video and I rank products in my collection so I can see like where each product falls based on a certain category. Um, and I ranked my highlighters and I have a billion, 
of peachy gold highlight. Like I have too many pinky peachy gold highlighters. Do I have one that is exact, exactly like this? No, I don't. I really don't. I don't have a duochrome that's like this. Like I'll give myself that, but I have enough that looks similarly to this that you're not going to notice a difference on the cheek. Like I guarantee I could find a dupe for this. However, I think it's really pretty. And honestly, if I hear the reviews are super, super, super good, like I hear reviews and they're really good, this is something I might pick up, but this is not something that I'm just going to run off and go buy like right when it launches. I want to wait and see if the formula is going to make it worth it or if I can just continue to use the other like peachy pinkies I have. Natasha Denona. Oh, the, the, I got to tell you guys, I'm not even going to lie. Normally I come on here and I trash these brands like this stuff is getting me. Natasha Denona is coming out with new sparkle and metallic liquid eyeshadows. So basically the Stila glitter is like they're coming out with their own version of that. And these look pretty. They look so pretty. I have a really bad addiction to glitter toppers. Um, it's a prop. I have so many and I love them all. Like I wouldn't give a single one away right now. If you were like, Hey, get rid of one. I'd be like, Hey, no, I love all of them. And these look beautiful. The one thing that's holding me back from buying them is first of all the price. It's $25, which is the price of Stila. It's not terrible, but like that's still expensive. <laughs> that's a lot. $25 is a quarter of a hundred. A hundred dollars is one tenth of a thousand. Like it, it adds up, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm the only reason I'm not super, super, oh my God, that picture just did me in the glitter. Um, the only reason I'm not super, super tempted and the reason I think I'll be able to resist is because these colors are not super unique. I've decided that going forward, buying stuff like this, like shimmery eye toppers and such, I really want to pick colors that are unique because I have a million gold, a million champagne and a million like pinky, light pinky stuff. What I need is like cool colors. Like I need like greens. I need reds. I need purples, like crazy stuff like that. And this is all basically very neutral colors that I know I already have. So while I think these are beautiful and while I th the packaging is so on point too, like it's so pretty, while I think these are beautiful and I think these would look gorgeous on the eye and I think I would actually love them, I don't think I need them. The other thing about these two is when you're talking about like liquid eyeshadows or liquid glitters, um, they dry out after like three months. So it's really not beneficial to you or your wallet to have more than one type of shade at, at a time. So like maybe if like my Stila glitter that I love, like one of these looks like Smoky Storm, almost exactly like Stila's Smoky Storm. So if for instance, I know that's going to dry out within the next couple months. So if that dries out, I might consider picking up this as like a replacement um, just to try out the formula and just see. But I don't think I need things that like can be duped at the moment by multiple products because I need to start just working through those on their own, if that makes sense. They dry out too fast. You don't want to just waste product, especially when you are paying so much because they're so unique and cool. You pay a little bit more for these types of things. And I don't want to feel like I wasted my money because they dried out before I could like use them up. Does that make sense? My one Stila glitter that really dried up though, I used that thing to death. <laughs> like she was gone. Kylie Cosmetics came out with her summer palette. You know, I'm not really here nor there about the summer palette. I, I, it's definitely like neutrals. Like all of the mattes are neutrals. It does have a couple pops with the purple and the bright green. I just don't think it, I think it's cute because at least it does look summery. Like I look at it and I'm like, yeah, that's a summer palette. Like unlike Too Faced who is re-releasing their gingerbread spice palette in the middle of June, I don't, I don't look at this and think it's not summery. Like it definitely looks like something you would see photographed by a pool, which ironically it is. Um, I just am not particularly interested, I guess. I, her eyeshadows just like, they're not at groundbreaking. I had the, um, the Royal Peach palette when that first was like a huge thing and that came out and they're just not like amazing. They're okay. Hey, they blend. They're not that terrible, but they're not like amazing. And at the price she's charging, they kind of should be Um, because she charges. Let me see how much this particular palette is. Of course, it doesn't say. Why would it say what the price of the palette is? Um, but I know it's going to be expensive. I mean, her palettes are always pretty expensive. And I just think you can, for the money that you're paying, you can get better deals on eyeshadows than Kylie Cosmetics. And that's really the end of it, honestly. Like, I, I feel like I, it's repetitive of me to say, but like, unless she comes out with a color story or a type of formula that is particularly groundbreaking, I will always think there is a better way for you to spend your money than a Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. And that's just the tea. Uh, next, let's just 
just talk about it since I already mentioned it. Too Faced for some, I wanna talk about this because I have this palette. So I guess this is, this is a yes, I guess. But I, so Too Faced is bringing back their gingerbread spice eyeshadow palette, which was a huge hit over the holidays. It was very successful. I fell into that freaking hype and I bought that palette and I'm ashamed of it every day. Um, I own that palette. I like the palette. I think it's cute. One of you guys asked me on Twitter, you were like, should I buy it? Like, you know, they're reselling it. I, I felt like I missed it. And this is where we have to talk about FOMO because this came out and this didn't even make it till Christmas before Too Faced ran out of these palettes. And I think for once I was like, oh, a brand actually sticking to something that's limited edition? Like this is unheard of. Um, and I thought they did it. Turns out they didn't. And they brought it back at a weird time. It's not even like they brought it back again during the holidays when everyone's kind of in the gingerbread spice mood. It's literally the middle of June. I don't know if they found a spare carton of palettes in like the back that they wanted to resell, but something's fishy about this. This was like not planned. There's no way their marketing team Mm, they might have thought this was a good idea. Uh, but I want to say my piece about this palette is that while I think it's good and I like it, if it shattered into a million pieces tomorrow, I would feel no need to run to, what is it, where is it selling, Nordstrom? I would feel no need to run to Nordstrom and pick up a new palette to replace it. It's an okay palette. It's easily dupable. It's got some cute shades and I can create some cute looks, but it's nothing amazing or groundbreaking or something you should feel the need to impulse spend $50 on just because you're afraid it's going to go away again. Um, I guarantee you after this palette ended, most of you, once it was like gone for the season, most of you probably didn't think about this palette for the last six months until it relaunched again. And then your feeling of FOMO came back when it relaunched and then you felt like you should buy it. I don't think you need to. I think this is something that you could very easily skip and still be happy with your collection. So that's just how I feel about that. So I wanted to talk about this because a lot of you guys were mentioning this on my blush ranking video that Zoeva is coming out with blushes that look Look very similar to hourglass blushes. I'm actually highly interested in these, especially because, so they are $22, which is a pretty expensive for a blush. Like that's definitely not affordable, um, but it is cheaper than hourglass blush blushes, which I believe retail for $38. So these are definitely a better price point than the hourglass ones, still expensive. Um, but I would be interested to see if these actually are a dupe for the hourglass formula because I think if they were it would be worth looking into because that hourglass blush that I have I love um, I absolutely love it it's like one of my favorite blushes I think it's so beautiful and perfect and just like amazing in every way so I think because these look like this people are assuming that it is like this and I'd be interested to test that theory so this actually might be something that when it launches I wonder if it already did yeah so now that this is launched this is something that I might be looking into getting I don't think $22 is insane for a blush but I also don't think that's like affordable because it's not but yeah this is something I'm gonna look into so if you guys want to see I'm gonna do a comparison video I think soon but if you guys want to see these two blushes in particular compared formula and everything let me know down below because I am really thinking about picking one of these up I don't know if you guys need these though <laughs> I the pro this is where it gets into a problem of like I'm a youtuber so I like to buy things that are dupes just to just to see um, but I don't know I can't say for certain I think you would have to wait for reviews to see if these were worth the price tag worth whatever because um, it could it could be crap like you don't know. That's the problem with brands like Zoeva. I've always heard about them and wanted to try them, but you have to rely so heavily on brands because they aren't sold in store. And I think that's a, actually, this is totally a bigger issue than it needs to be, but I think that's an issue where e-commerce uh, killing brick and mortar stores is actually really hurting us with makeup is because it's, first of all, returning stuff to makeup companies is such a pain and nobody likes to do it online. That's why people go into stores to do it. And second of all, you don't have brands like Zoeva in stores. So I can't go in and swatch this and see if I'm gonna like it or see if it'll work on me. So if I don't like it, I'm probably just gonna be out 22 bucks. That kind of sucks. So online brands I've been wary of lately because I'm just kind of like, man, that, I mean, I understand not all brands can be in like bigger stores, but it does kind of suck not being able to like swatch stuff first. So BH Cosmetics put out three palettes for summer. They put out a face palette, a more like muted neutral-ish palette, um, and a pop of color palette that has a lot of different colors. You know, BH palettes are very reasonably priced. I believe all of these are under $20. I'm sure there's like a bundle deal you can get where you can get all three. I don't think necessarily this is like a bad choice and I don't think BH is a bad brand. However, I do find BH lately to be just very uninspired. Um, I have, nothing's come out from them since the 
I think it was the, the Weekend Festival palette. The one with like the Coachella themed one basically. Nothing that they've come out with since then has I've seen and been like, oh my god, I'm so excited for that. And I think the problem is BH, I mean their quality is good from what I've heard and I, the shadows I've tried I've liked. They're affordable for most people. They're, you know, they work, whatever. They're not, they don't have that like wow factor that I think unfortunately a lot of brands have to have nowadays because there's so much coming out. Like you can scroll through Trend Mood and find 50 different palettes right now from like 20 different brands of all these summer palettes launching and none of this is sticking out to me. Like the outer packaging doesn't stick out to me. The inner packaging isn't like crazy exciting. It feels, honestly, this, the colorful palette is reminding me so much. It reminds me of that Jeffree Star palette, the Thirsty palette. That's what this looks like. I'm looking at it. I'm like, man, that reminds me so much of something. This, this little, the colorful one reminds me of the Thirsty palette, which when Jeffree Star did that, that was an original and cool idea. Um, and now this is not <laughs> anymore because this color scheme has now been done. Like mixing the teal, that bright blue with like the pinks done. And the neutral palette, I mean, it's, it's, again, it's fine. I'm sure it's good quality. I'm sure somebody would use it and like it. So that's my thing with BH. It's just kind of boring. It sucks, but it is. This I'm very excited about. Simply Nail Logical is actually launching her own nail polish brand. And I, it's called Hollow Taco, which is what she calls top coats that are hollow. Um, I am so excited for this. I am so hype. I actually tried to get some stuff on launch day, but she sold out very quickly. I was going to get the, um, one of the hollow toppers and the one coat black. She said she's restocking soon. So I definitely think those are things that I'm going to pick up. I've I've actually been trying to grow my nails out lately and actually be able to like paint my nails and I've gotten a lot better at it and I would be really really interested to see the formula that she has. I think Christine is one of those people that is so non-problematic that she just like you just like you're I'm just happy for her. Like normally when beauty gurus have their launches and they sell out I'm like oh so they stocked like 20 palettes when a million people were gonna get it so they could sell out. Um, I don't think that's the case. I genuinely think she sold out because I genuinely think people love her. And I'm really excited to see where she's gonna go with this whole brand. I mean, nail polish is like sky's the limit basically. Um, I think it was a really smart move on her part and I'm very excited to see where this is gonna go. The nail polishes were a tiny bit expensive. <laughs> they were like, I think the normal colors were like 11 and the hollow top coats were like 13. But I'm also very cheap with nail polish normally. So that could just be a, where my priorities lie, like because I'm not super prioritizing my nails. I prioritize my face. Um, for me, that's like a lot, but I'm sure for some people that's like a really good deal. So I am definitely going to pick a couple of those up when they come up for restock. I'm really excited about that. And I also just want to support Christine. I like her whole thing. I like what she's about. She actually inspires me so much because if I were ever in a position to make like a lot of money on YouTube, I would want to do the same thing she does where every year she does like a college tuition giveaway where she pays for somebody's like year at college. I would literally love to do something like that would be the, that would mean that I like made it in my life. <laughs> If I could help somebody pay for college, that would be the most amazing thing ever. Um, so that is definitely, like, she just inspires me in general. I think she's a huge advocate for education and not making YouTube your real job, and I love that. Man, this thing from Benefit. I know this already got, like, trashed. This is called the Flock Star. It's just bad. Like, the I okay, so it's the same th th four things you see in everything, which is Hula Hula Light, California, and Twinkle. I didn't even read those names. I could tell just from looking at the pans exactly what those were, and that tells you that Benefit reuses their stuff way too much. The eyeshadows just completely uninspired and boring. The packaging is bulky for no, no reason. It's just not cute. <laughs> it's not. Don't spend your money on this stuff. Spend your money when Benefit decides to spend money on more innovative people that work for their company. Like that's when you should spend money on Benefit. Right now they're giving you the same old regurgitated stuff and just hoping that it works for them. And I hope it doesn't. I hope that they, I just like, I don't even know what to say because I'm so fed up with Benefit just regurgitating everything. It's ridiculous. Like they have the money to hire better people, hire them, hire some creatives, get them in the lab, get them working on some new stuff because they make good stuff, but it's all the same. And it just gets so monotonous and boring. I saw that poem literally rolled my eyes. Like I couldn't even deal. So Wet n Wild came out with the Pac-Man collection. I 
actually think this is really cute. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm very on the fence about Wet n Wild at the moment of like what is going on with their brand and everything. It's very confusing to me and it's just annoying. So I don't think I'm gonna buy from them for that reason because I'm just on the fence about supporting them as a brand. However, I do think the concept of this is so well executed and so cute. The palette is so Pac-Man, it's so cute. The lipsticks have the little ghosts on them. They even have the little apples that you would get, like the little, you know what I mean? Like, like you would get an apple, they have that as lip balm. Like I think all of this is so cute and on point. And that's the thing about Wet n Wild, like even though they're a drugstore brand and even though they're controversial at the moment, they commit to their themes and they commit. Like this is commit, this is what, this, like Too Faced, take notes. This is what committing to a concept looks like. It's beautiful. It's such a fun thing to see. Like I saw this and I was like, I'm not probably going to buy that, but I commend them for making something fun and exciting and different than all the other summer palettes that have come out this summer. And I mean, that palette's probably like $8. How much is that? Literally this palette is $10 and it looks beautiful. And so does that face palette and so do the lipsticks. Like all of this, I love, I love all of this. I think that, I think that Pac-Man collection was very well executed, very cute and very well done. All right, finally, let's talk about this. Natasha Denona has finally made a mini of her Tropics palette. I talked about that Tropics palette not that long ago in a video. I probably was a long time ago because it was in my old apartment, but I vividly remember it being like, if you like the Tropics palette for just that bottom row of colors that are very bright and vibrant. Wait, because Natasha Denona often makes minis of her palettes and you can just buy that instead of buying that whole palette. And honestly, I thought I was wrong. I was like, maybe I was wrong about that one. Like maybe she was never going to do it. And then she did. And I felt like freaking that's so Raven. I was so psychic for a second. Um, no, in all honesty, I, I don't know. These mini palettes from Natasha Denona, I don't know if people realize how small they are. Um, these are small. Like, have you seen them in stores? They're like this big, tiny. And I get that like you get less products, so you're more likely to use it. So I think if they're colors you're gonna use like a ton, I think that's great. I'm the type of person that likes eyeshadows that are just like cohesive. You can just use an eyeshadow palette and like that's that. I don't mind pulling from two different palettes. Like I did that today. I have a tutorial Tuesday on these two palettes coming tomorrow and I used two different palettes and I didn't mind doing it but I particularly like to be able to just grab a palette and like create a full look. You can't really do that with a palette like this because of the color scheme. I don't think it's inherently a bad idea, but I also have heard through the grapevine, I've never bought one of these mini palettes from her, but I've heard through the grapevine that these particular ones that she sells, the mini, mini ones, not the five pans, like the minis, that they're not her typical quality, that they're like crap, basically. Um, so I think at this point, I would just nix that. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think anybody like needs this, this, this quint. Is that what five would be? That's how I feel about that. I just don't feel like anybody really needs it. I don't know. I look at that and I'm just like, it would have been cooler if she came out with it right after that initial palette launch. Cause then people would have had the op, I guess that would have given people the option to not buy the big one. But like still, that would have been cooler. I love you guys so much. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. I hope it wasn't too ranty or rambly. Just wanted to talk to you guys about some new product releases. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. I'm honestly just so happy you're here watching me. Thank you so much for being here. My brand spanking new merch will be linked down below along with the amazing girl who created it and her Instagram. Please go follow her. She's just fantastic. I've just loved working with her on this whole project. She's been an absolute delight. It's been amazing. She's helped me. She's helped guide me through this whole process. So thank you, Madeline. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.